Hello and welcome to Vinyl Factory Live. I'm Nabiha Iqbal and today I'll be playing a little set for you from my home in lockdown. I was trying to figure out what I should play and I've been listening to loads of reggae lately because it just has good energy and it makes you feel good and I feel like all of us can do with a bit of that. So I've decided to play an hour's worth of my fa favorite reggae records. And we're gonna start off with a cover version of Walk On By by Motion, which was the band of George Oban, who was originally the bass player from the British reggae band, Aswad. If you see me walking down the street And I'll start to cry Each time we
Such a good version of Walk On By by Motion. And next, I'm going to play the first ever single that was released on the British reggae label Greensleeves. This is Smoking My Ganja by Capital Letters. And I love the intro to this. Meanwhile, I'm 
was a track called Work All Day by Mikey Mao Chung, who is a Chinese Jamaican and quite a well-known guitarist, still going in the scene there. Um, next, a little bit of Dennis Brown. I'll probably play more than one Dennis Brown tune in this set. Let's see. Starting off with Money in My Pocket. <laughs> You 
was Back Out by Wailing Soul. And next, one of my favorite voices in reggae. This is Al Campbell with Have You Been Making Out Okay? I wanna know how you've been since you left.
that was Errol Dunkley with Movie Star. And next, I'm going to play some reggae vibraphone. This is Lenny Hibbert with a track called Chinese Beauty off his album More Creation. Thank you. 
was Simple Beautiful by Tinga Stewart. I love that track so much. And next, um, this is a cover of Kenny G's Songbird by Cedric Brooks. And it took me ages to find out what this was because I heard this track in a mix and then I was obsessed with it, but I didn't know what it was and it wasn't coming up on um, Shazam. And so I had to make a little video of it and put it on Instagram stories. And alas, people responded with the correct answer. So yeah, thanks to social media, I found a really good tune. Oh, 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 
That was a track called Ethiopian Kingdom by Ronald Downer and Count Ossie Band featuring Lenny Hibbert again on the vibes. Um, and actually, I have to mention where I got that. I got that from a store in Tokyo called Dub Store Records, which is one of the best reggae record shops I've ever been to. And if you're into it and you find yourself in Tokyo, then it's worth a visit. I spent like about five hours in there and I spent all my money, but it was worth it. Okay, next, Gregory Isaacs with a track called Poor and Clean.
that's one of my favorite tracks ever that's prophecy by fabian and it reminds me of um the special series that boiler room did during carnival during the summer a couple years ago in somerset house when they had different um carnival sound systems coming in and abishanti came in one night and they played that and it was incredible maybe someone some of you guys who are watching this now were there and you'll remember it and it just oh, the music just got into your body and it was one of those experiences that i'll always remember um okay we're sti sticking with the protest theme towards the end of this set and next i'm playing a track by steel pulse called tightrope <laughs> good that's tightrope by steel pulse from their album earth crisis which is a really good record and weirdly relevant still very much so today even though it was made quite a while back in the 80s um 
Okay, I'm coming to the end of my Vinyl Factory set, so I'm going to play one more tune and then that's it. So I just want to say thanks to my little brother who's been <laughs> helping me by filming this the whole time and I'm sure his arms really need to rest now, so she, it's almost done. And um, thanks very, very much to Vinyl Factory for the opportunity and inviting me to play some tunes and share them with you. Um, for my last track, I've chosen to play a classic. I've been listening to this album so much lately. It's um, the live recording of Bob Marley and the Wailers when they played at the Lyceum in London. And I really wish that I'd been alive to go to this show because just from listening to the record, you can just feel that the atmosphere was so crazy and electric in there and there's just so much energy in the room. And, um, and the interesting thing about this record is that it was recorded, the live show was recorded with the world's first mobile recording studio, which was the Rolling Stones mobile studio and um, they commissioned it in 1968 because they wanted to record music at Mick Jagger's country house instead of going to a studio fair enough so they built a studio inside a truck and um, then they used it to record this show as well so yeah thanks so much to everybody for listening and this is Bob Marley and the Wailers with Get Up Stand Up Don't give up.
I say.